the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob reach second C and awaken the flame fruit. But before that, guys, I've made a Twitter account for future announcements and giveaways. Next up, to show your support, you can use the star code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Okay, guys, so to start it off, we're gonna defeat bandits. Again, flame fruit is a logia type fruit, so there is what we call a logia effect, wherein if you reach a level, you won't be damaged by enemies that has no Gusuhaki. So you've just seen our first skill, the fire bullets. Guys, just two skills and you can defeat bandits. See that? That's the log effect. So guys, just use, keep on using your fire bullets, lure them. And the goal here is to reach level 10. And we are ready to move on to our next island, the jungle. Guys, for me, flame fruit is one of the fastest way to grind levels yes because of the high damage and the low mastery requirement for every skill so here we're gonna start with the monkeys I suggest you finish two quests okay two quests of monkeys to reach level 17 yes 17 so there you go just lure use your Z skill okay do it again and there you go again two quests level 17 next up the gorillas so here you're just gonna need to lure four Two, three, four, and then use your fire bullets. By this time, we've already unlocked the fire flight. I'm gonna show it to you later, don't worry. And with just one gorilla quest, you will reach level 20. And that is the requirement to start doing the gorilla king quest. Okay. So, Z skill again, our friend here is the high ground. He won't be able to attack you, just keep using your Z skill, wait for it to cool down, and defeat it. Our goal level here is to reach levels 30, and before that, we'll be unlocking at least two more skills, the Fire Beam and the Fire Flight. I'm gonna show you those skills. This is the Fire Flight. Not that fast, but oh, better than a boat, I think. And this is the Fire Beam. So the damage is higher, but there's a chance that you might fling your enemies away. Okay, so for our next island at level 30, Pirate Village. Don't forget to save. We're gonna start with the pirates. Lure them first. You need to lure four at a time. Go. But you need to defeat eight, okay? Is it easy, Gamer Gnome? Yes, just three skills. You will defeat the pirates. Two, I think that's to the three. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, if I missed something. But the goal here is to reach level 40. Logia effect activated, but... We will move on to our next target mob, and that mob is the Brute. So you need to defeat 10. So most likely you should be luring 5 at a time to make things faster. There you go, and you can lure 5. Use your skills. Fire bullets, fire beam, there you go. 4 to 5 skills to clear a lure. So the goal here is to reach level 55. And at that level, you will unlock a new quest, the mini boss in this island, Bobby the Clown, or in the anime, that's Buggy. So, guys, just dodge that slash, there you go, the long range, that one, and everything will be fine. That's it. Straight to the point, okay? So, again, go back to the brutes, or just defeat Buggy, Bobby the Clown, until you reach level 60. After that, we are now ready to move on to our next island, the desert. Level up here is really, really fast because I don't know why, but the log is already in effect. You're at the same level with these mobs, which is really, really good, right? Okay, so no technique here. Just lure them, use your skills, defeat them. Very easy. Goal here is to reach level 75, and before you even reach that, you will unlock your next skill, the fire column. Wait, I'm gonna show it to you. Here it is. There you go. Not the highest damage. This is my least favorite skill here. So at 75, we are moving on to our next quest. Irrigated here, the Desert Officers. Guys, Logia is in effect, even though you're the same level. This is the only area I think that this happened, so let's take advantage of it. We're gonna level up here until we reach level 105. Okay, so two skills, three skills. Okay, three skills. 
as you can see, log is in effect. Very good for us. Faster grinding. There you go. Stat check before we leave this area. 72 melee defense, 171 blocks full. So moving on, our next target island is, here you go, the Frozen Village. So guys, go to the cave, buy everything, the ability to sells, the Gepo, the Buso, and the Sorrow. Now we are ready to grind, we're gonna start with the Yeti. That's why we went here at 105, so same with the Gorilla King. Just use your skills, but now try to create distance because there's no high ground here unless you like uh, push the Yeti outside this high ground. But anyways, it's easy to defeat. Don't worry about that. There you go. So my suggestion here is just do server hop until you reach level 130. So as you've noticed, we skipped some quests, but that's fine guys. Okay. So at 130, we're moving on to our next island, but stat check first. Here you go, 83 melee defense, 224 blocks full. So for our next island, we got the Marine Forest. Okay, so here we're gonna start and end with the Vice Admirals. There you go. Guys, remember Bobby the Clown, Baggy the Clown? That's how you will defeat this. Just attack, dodge, see that? It's sword slash, the long range sword slash. There you go, just dodge that. Everything will be fine, create your distance, and that's it. So our goal here is to reach level 150. Go, 150. We're gonna skip the petty officers. So we were not able to get the coat. We did server hop in, that's fine. So moving on, Skylands. Here we're gonna start with the Sky Bandits. There you go, you need to defeat seven, right? Those bandits are located here and they're so easy to defeat. The goal here is to reach level 175. Before that even happens, you will be unlocking your final skill, the Firebomb, and I'm gonna show it to you. Here you go, V skill, 100 master only guys. Check that out. Ooh. So next target at 175, the Dark Masters. You need to defeat 8, lure 4 at a time, 1, 2, 3, and that's 4. They're kinda tanky, but don't worry, you have lots of skills, 4 skills to damage, so everything will be fine. There you go. Let's end this with the fireball. The goal here is to reach level 225. As you can see, Logia effect. Next island is the Coliseum. There are two mobs here, and we're gonna start with the Toga Warriors. We need to defeat seven. So what I do here is lure four, defeat them. Lure three, defeat them. But if you want lure four twice, that's fine. They're just near each other. So there you go. Goal here is to reach level 275. Log effect activated. Next up, the gladiators. So you need to defeat 8. Here, you really need to lure 4 at a time. So that's 1, that's 2, that's 3, and that's 4. So, guys, the goal here is to reach level 300. But there's an area here where you can grind mini bosses. The prison, yes. There are 3 bosses here the swan, which is easy to defeat. Don't worry. You're good enough, but we got hit by that. Check our HP. You can also defeat the Warden and the Chief Warden. Guys, the damage looks really high because our defense is really low. I'm really focusing on the Blocks Fruit stat. Okay? Okay, so there you go. The Chief Warden. There are three mini bosses here. So it depends to you as long as you reach 300. And when you reach that, we are now ready for Magma Village. So here we're gonna start with the military soldiers. You need to defeat nine. So you should lure five. Yeah, five at a time. All the military soldiers here, you can lure them here in the bridge. Use your skills to defeat them. You're gonna do this twice to finish a quest and level up. Okay, so guys, again, the goal here is to reach level 450. So at 350, and start defeating the mini boss here, the Magma Admiral. There you go. He's easy to defeat. Just dodge that one, that skill. Wait. Okay, use him. Okay. Maintain your distance. Wait for him to use that skill. And then use your skills, okay? But Gamer Gnome, you forgot the military spies. Don't worry, don't worry guys. After we defeat this, we're going there. You can start grinding there at level uh, 330, right? Yes. And those mobs are easier to defeat. But let's defeat this first. 
check this out Bacon Ace defeating Akainu for those One Piece fans revenge anyway here we go military spice defeat 8 lure 4 1 2 3 4 I think guys just 2 skills that's enough to defeat them check that out guys see that <laughs> almost dead just 1 skill so I suggest you just use your fire bullets here again there you go that's it so do this twice to finish a quest again the goal here is to reach level 375 okay there you go so we're gonna do some stat check before we leave this island again at 375 186 melee defense 756 blast fruit so for our next island oh it's a city the underwater city so let's go inside this whirlpool okay underwater city so we're gonna start here and end with the fishman warriors why gamer no because the next mob here the fishman commandos they're kind of far apart and i really don't like that kind of grinding because instead of just killing mobs you will waste most of your time luring but don't worry when you reach level 425 you can start defeating the mini boss in this island the fish lord oh fishman lord sorry <laughs> so here it is guys use your skills right the only thing that you need to dodge is this skill i'm gonna show it to you this one the trident there you go so once you dodge that use again all your skills wait for him to use a trident and use your skills again okay so that's it level 450 next stop my favorite grinding area the skylands with the gods guards so guys listen carefully we're gonna grind here until we reach level 525 meaning we're gonna skip the Shandas and the Whisper mini boss. Why? Because it's so fast grinding here. The mobs jump, which will help them not get stuck in the obstacles here. So faster grinding, more efficient. That's my reason why I'm gonna stay here until 525. There you go. Next stop, Royal Squads. So you can lure four at a time. Sometimes five if you want more XP and uh belly but four is good so use your skills lure four do this twice to finish a quest so guys when you reach level 575 you can start the mini boss in this area the thunder god same with the magma uh, admiral just dodge that skill and everything will be fine so once you've unlocked this mob quest you're gonna stay here guys you're gonna do server hop until you reach level 625 because that is the requirement to go to our next grinding area and that grinding area is the fountain city something fell on our roof did you hear that <laughs> we're gonna start with the galley pirates you need to defeat eight right so there's four here in the middle area we're gonna skip the galley uh, captains again they're so far apart that's my only reason so at first grinding here will be hard because you will get hit but it's fine once you've like unlocked your log effect everything will be easy there you go so the goal here is to reach level 700 but at 675 you can start grinding with the cyborg and once you do that you can just do server hop is it hard mm, guys think of this you're fighting the fish lord or the magma uh, admiral but instead of just one skill to dodge he will use lots of skills check that out the cannon or the gun wait he's gonna use it again okay there you go you just need to dodge all of those and everything will be fine okay so once you reach level 700 you will get a quest it will ask you to go to the prison so let's head to the prison there you go so here you just need to talk to the detective get the key head to the frozen village go to the cave where you bought the sorrow etc use the key to open the door and defeat the ice admiral and after that you can go back to the detective he will then ask you to go to the middle town and look for the experienced pirate or captain sorry about that and after talking to him he will then send you to the second scene is that it gamer no, for the video no again if you read the title we're gonna awaken this for our first requirement we need shards 
luckily, we have the Greedy Elf in this update, so we're gonna use all our 2,497 candies and exchange it for fragments. So fast forward, we will be exchanging the 2,000 plus candies for 17,000 shards, and I think that's enough. Again, we will be needing help from my brothers. There we go. My brother is a Venom and the Buddha user. Here it is, defeating the boss. And we are going to awaken all the skills. I will also show you how much fragments is needed for you to unlock each skill. There you go. For every win, you will gain another 1,000 fragments, right? So here you go, you will be teleported here. Guys, for those who don't know, you should pick the raid flame, okay? If you're a flame user and you want to awaken, there you go. For the Z skill, the first skill, you need 500 fragments. For the second skill, you need the F skill, you need 2,000 fragments. I think this is for the fly, right? F skill, there you go. For the uh, next skill, the X skill, you need 3,000 fragments. Okay. And for the C skill, you will need 4,000 fragments to unlock it. Again, thanks to the candies, this series wouldn't be possible without that. For the V skill, you need 5,000 fragments. Okay, so now guys, I'm gonna show you the skills. Okay. And we'll be uh, rating it. So first off, we got the Burning Glass. So I prefer the first one, the bullets. Check this out. What I notice is, for almost all of the new skills, the Awakened skills, after that, there's a fire, right? So there's DPS, damage per second for every skill. Next, we have the Prominence Burn. There you go. I think the damage of the skill is really high. Next up, we get the Flaming Vortex. So, as you can see, there's always fire everywhere, and that has DPS. For the last skill, we have the Flame Destroyer. It really looks cool, guys. Can you feel the heat? I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, there you go. And last but not least, the Rocket Flight. I really love this. The flight is faster now, because you really, really need this if you want to use Flame in the third C, right? Okay, so for any requests, suggestions, comment in the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!